I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to the waxed cotton jacket. All right. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you click on the like button. If you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate it because that way these videos come right to you. And if you want to learn more about men's style, I've got a great 47 page ebook, which you can just grab right down there. It talks about more formal men's style, but I also talk about, uh, well, a little bit of casual stuff, but the same, the rules apply. doesn't matter how you're dressing. Okay. So the waxed cotton jacket. I'm wearing one right now. This one is more of a hunting design. They come in a wide variety. Waxed cotton more refers to the fabric and the properties of the fabric. So if you think about wax, what, what happens when water goes on wax or it goes on a duck or any, you know, any type of uh, animal or piece of clothing which has a film on it. It just rolls off. Exactly. You know, so that is the idea behind the wax cotton. And this has been with us for a long time. So let's go back and look, look at history. We see the Egyptians and they had sails. They were out sailing on the ocean and or the Mediterranean and what we or the Red Sea. And we would uh, see them that they figured out that if they waxed the sails. If they took that those those paper sails and they waxed them, they did a much better job of catch catching air, and they were a lot faster. They were lighter than uh, the other alternatives out there, and it worked for them. Now, modern day, we started seeing that. Well, not modern day, but a few hundred years ago, we still saw sails that they would use a, a film and put it into the actual sheets, and it would do a better job of not letting the wind go through, and it would catch the wind pull. And that's, so we see a lot of fishermen and we actually see a lot of clothing that would come from old sails and it would still have a lot of the same properties of being waterproof, which is very good if you work out uh, on the open water. So this was brought into menswear. Uh, one of the famous examples is the trench coat. So the trench coat used a wax cotton and that was used successfully in very bad weather in the trenches during World War I and beyond. Now, in hunting, it plays a great role. We've got, you see, I've got a hunting jacket, which is actually, so one of the most famous hunting jackets you see out there made by Barber, uh, that is an English company. In this case, I'm not wearing a Barber. I'm wearing one made by Eddie Bauer. I, I like the style, but the style is pretty, I, I would say, universal when it goes for these hunting jackets. Uh, and, and this one in particular, that I'm going to use the, the example. So what we see of the style, and I've got another one made by Timberland. Uh, with another waxed cotton. They usually have this green drab color. So this is a little bit of kind of just blending in to the natural environment. It's not really camouflage, but it's also not sticking out. Uh, as many hunters know, doesn't really matter. The color is less important. You could actually go with a bright orange and that would probably be better. I know a lot of hunting stores do sell or you could wear a vest with this and still wear this traditional jacket. But oftentimes uh, what we see on these is placement for the hands. So this is a big one. You have a place where you can basically put your hands in here on this jacket. I've got it right here. On this jacket, they do not have that button over, but they do have the same placement at this level for the for the arms and for the hands. It's higher so that if you have your rifle slung over, you can still comfortably put your hands in here. They also have these large lower pockets. And again, I see these on the Timberland as well, and you can see those on the Barber. Can anybody guess what the large lower pockets are for? Anyone? Ammunition, right. So that's where you would actually open this up and you could put large amounts of ammunition or anything else you need when you were out hunting. Now the inside of these jackets usually uh, made with, this one's got a bit of corduroy, but they're insulated. They've got more pockets, but these are warm jackets. But the most important thing in getting back to what we're talking about, the waxed cotton, is the outside. These are water resistant, not waterproof. Water, waterproof, you've got to have actual rubber, something that you could leave the water on there for a while. These are water resistant, so they will resist a high amount. I mean, water's just going to roll off and you could be caught in a storm and you will remain dry underneath. It will absorb just a bit, but we're, we're talking a minute amount because the wax cotton, another great thing about it is it's actually woven with a type of cotton that already has the film on it. So the, the wax is basically woven in to the actual, it depends on the actual who made it and what mill it came from. But normally for these jackets, you're going to see that they used a good, a good waxed cotton thread and afterwards they treated it as well. Now, one of the things with wax cotton, a lot, why a lot of people look to avoid it and they go with a modern equivalent or something different is that they don't want 
to deal with the upkeep. It's, you know, depending on how much you wear the jacket, I would say maybe once every few years, you'll probably need to send it in or get a small kit in which you will apply a little bit of wax to this to reinforce what was originally put on these jackets. But overall, I think they're very handsome jackets. Uh, this one, again, made by Eddie Bauer, I'm happy with. I, it, I had, it's harder in the United States to find barbers. Uh, they don't make them easy to find. You can occasionally find some in thrift stores or in the larger cities where they actually have stores. But uh, you can find other a lot of companies, like I said, Eddie Bauer, Timberlands. I, I like the Eddie Bauer one more than the Timberland. I'm actually going to send the Timberland back and keep this Eddie Bauer jacket. Uh, but I would say a medium weight jacket. So right now here in Wisconsin, it was just negative 20 the other day, uh, and that's Fahrenheit, guys. So I know for you Canadians, that's nothing. That you you laugh at that. But here in the United States, negative 20 is relatively pretty cold. This jacket I would not be wearing out there. I'd be wearing a parka, which is a whole nother style. And uh, all right, guys. So hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you learned something, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.